Anti-open grazing, Tinubu reconciles with Northern Caliphate, agrees to play along with Northern Agenda to save his political interests. It is no news to concerned individuals in Southeast that the recent federal government's approval of billions of naira to the North for ranching was a charade to encourage the activities of these Fulani herdsmen terrorists in the country. Northern elites and their governors despite these huge amounts given for opening ranches in their respective states are yet seen lobbying Tinubu to give a presidential directive to all state governments for a possible land allocation for open grazing in their respective states. The age-long insatiable political dispositions of northern elites in Nigeria has been emboldened since the Niger-Nigerian fallout was brought under control as indices show that North is gradually reuniting with Tinubu's government to further push their joint hate and anti-Ibo policies in Nigeria. Permit me to assert that we're witnessing a secret reconciliatory reunion between Tinubu and his northern lovers and the agenda is to use Southeast as scapegoat. This consequently, led to the removal of various sanctions slammed on Niger Republic by ECOWAS, restoring power supply to Niger and opening its borders with Nigeria by Tinubu's government, though it's understandable that both Britain and France were not excluded in reaching this compromise. However, this to an extent, reveals those behind the scene to the purported Tinubu's announcement directing state governors to allocate land for ranching in their states. Is this not an obvious sign that the quarrel between the two lovers has been settled behind the backyard? Thus, Northern Caliphate conspires with Tinubu's Yoruba hijacked government to advance their Islamization slash fulanization agenda in Nigeria especially in the East. Tinubu, with his divide and rule political style has succeeded in cooling off the rift the Niger junta created between him and the North. Meanwhile, Recall that there was plausible anti-Tinubu sentiments in the north since the relocation policy to transfer major institutions from Abuja to Lagos began. That development resulted in the gruesome murder of Yoruba monarchs, kidnapping of schoolchildren, etc., that took place in southwest which served as a warning statement to Tinubu over his anti-north policies. Tinubu issuing a directive in the interest of Fulani Caliphate agenda as against the collective interests of other indigenous peoples and ethnicities in the contraption, isn't just a mere politicking. Is it not clearer now with the gradual reconciliatory process we have seen lately who were behind those heightened atrocities, kidnappings, massacres of people in the north weeks ago? It suffices to say that the recent reconciliatory moves between Tinubu and Northern Region is to perpetuate the contraption's policies of socio-economic strangulations on D. Ibo, Biafrans in Nigeria. The divide between the political elites in the East is the oil lubricating the marginalization of Eastern Region in Nigeria. As evidently exhibited by Inugwa state government under Governor, Peter Mba. Rushing to allocate ancestral lands belonging to indigenous Biafrans in the state to Fulani herdsmen is the most unbelievable action expected to come from a conscientious Igbo man. The zeal displayed by governments of Imo, Inugwu and Ibonyi in southeast, to provide plots of land for ranching despite several outcries rejecting such proposal from the citizens of their states expose the divide and rule game Tinubu is playing in the east, especially in southeast with southeast governors. However, a stumbling rock rolls on the way to the actualization of these conspiracies and political gimmicks played by Nigerian government. IPOB stands in that way to ensure no portion of Biafraland is allocated to marauding Fulani herdsmen terrorists under any guise. This policy action by IPOB against Fulani herdsmen terrorists was initiated since 2019, when Buhari government came up with open grazing bill. Till date, IPOB slash ESN continues to stand out in ensuring Biafra forests, farmlands, and communities are safe from activities of Fulani herdsmen terrorists who go about massacring innocent villagers in their lands. Recall a press statement released yesterday March 14, 2024, by Emma Powerful, IPOB Media and Publicity Secretary, condemned Tinubu's call for state governors to allocate lands for Fulani ranching, says it was a careless thoughtless and great insult to various indigenous ethnicities in Nigeria. IPOB called on the southeastern governors to disregard Tinubu's reckless call and desist from allocating or selling any land in their states to Fulani for Ruga or ranching. Warning that any attempt to provide land to Fulani herdsmen terrorists invaders under any guise will be fiercely resisted and the governor dealt with.
Meanwhile, Tinubu made the call during his political inaugural speech in the opening ceremony commissioning the agricultural program in Niger State, indicating a new possible readiness to embrace and reunite with Northern Caliphate Inertor to play by their cards in exchange for them to halt making his government ungovernable with their mass killings and abduction tactics. Behold Biafrans, North and West are in bed once again to push their agenda and it's time to remain vigilant and calculative under command and control of the leadership of this great noble movement, Ipab Das. We must continue regardless. Thank you, thank you so much for watching that news. Just like we have continued to tell you, that Tinibu has come to destroy indigenous people more. It's no longer news that the military of Tinibu has continued to venture into Igbo's forest every day. It was Imo State, Ebony State, now Enugu State. Maybe these are the places they are planning to locate their so-called Ruga or ranching. Just like we have told every governor in Igbo land. To be very very careful of you what you are planning to do because we will not tolerate any ruga or ranch in our land whether the land belongs to government after all government own no land in Ibo land every land in Ibo land belongs to indigenous people whether they bought it from a dampa civilian whoever they buy it from we don't care what we are saying is that so far as ranching so far as Ruga, Nama. So far as they are concerned, we don't want to see them in our land. Because they are the people who are bringing in terrorism in every country. And this is what we will never take from anybody. Not even, even the most highest governor who is making sure that Igbo land is a better place. We don't care. People should learn how to respect themselves. The governors of Igbo land has caused us so much problem in life. The killing of our people who are busy protecting our land from the hands of this Maradoc flooding terrorists from pit of hell. Why Buhari at office? We refuse to we rejected every action from him to establish ranching or ruga in our land. Tribu can never be an exception. People should warn him. I've said this in my previous video. Jurobas should warn Tribu. If you want to open a ranching or ruga for the Northern Caliphate, you should go to Robala that open it or they open it in the north, not in Igbo land. Not in Igbo land. We will never tolerate any such thing. We saw how many people that were killed in Alabanta. They turned that place into a graveyard. Kill our people, kidnap them, take them into that place. If these things happen in not, Igbos will be killed in numbers. They will see Igbos are not killing their people. They will be killing numbers. Sometimes I wonder. Why some people believe that they are born to rule? Why some people believe that they, they are above the law? What makes them above the law? Presidency made them above the law. Men like Tinibu, who has nothing to offer in governance, but for the Northerners to stand by him, he wants to use our land for experiment, to bring terrorists into our land, people should warn him. Ahmed Ebola Tinibu, we will not let you, otherwise we'll make sure our kids don't grow up. Be very careful. Be very, very careful. Be very careful that we'll keep quiet all this way. You are suffocated Nandi Kale in custody after court has set him free. We already saw you from the beginning. How you plan to flanize Ibo land by making sure that he keep Nandi Kano unconditionally by making sure you keep them on the canal illegally i mean in custody 
so that you can be able to achieve your aim. But believe me, there are so many lions waiting for you. Tell your so-called uh, inspector general of police. Tell your so-called chief of army staff, whatever he calls himself. That stupid Obama. That he should go and take his tourism friends into the land of Opuruga or Ranchen. Not in Ibo land. We know what he's doing. We know what he's up to. That is why you see every day soldiers are trooping into our forest. What are you looking for? You are attacking those who are not attacking you. And those who are attacking you, you are not attacking them. You are attacking those who are not killing anybody. Just to be in forest and take care of our forest. From the hands of flying terrorists. You are attacking them. And you expect us to keep quiet. I made able at Tinibu. Just like the Nigerians call you. Be very, very careful. There is more lions to where Nam the Khan is coming from. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for watching.